Okay, up for auction up for sale is an original skill flip machine made by the Pace Manufacturing Company, Chicago, Illinois. This is a water transfer decal right here that's been placed on there. As the originals had a uh, decal right there or painting of that. Uh, it says skill flip on the front. On the left hand side it says test your skill. On the right it says drop coin here. And then it's got the instruction card right there. All original. Uh, the back door is new, but it's been made out of reclaimed wood, and it's just like the originals, and it's got a new key and new lock. Uh, very similar to the Rockola 5 Jacks machine, uh, which came in penny and nickel versions. This is a nickel version skill flip, so it's super rare. I mean, you wouldn't spend a lot of money back in when this machine was made on a gamble for a nickel. So this was made back, I believe, in the 1930s, or 1930, right around the Depression. And what you would do is uh, you'd take a nickel, or you use buffalo nickels, and you put it in the slot, and you hit it with your finger, and it's going to travel up and hit off these little pins and hopefully land in one of these little catchers right here, one of the five catchers. And you would then, if you get it in one of the catchers, you would then turn the handle all the way back, and then it would dump out the corresponding payout right there down into this trough down here. So I'm going to play it, see if you can watch the nickel. So that time it went all the way over here and down into there. So I'll try it a few more times, take a nickel, put it in there, and then it went into one of these. It's a, it's a tough game, it's a game of skill. Uh, so. I have gotten a couple of jackpots on this, and the machine does work perfectly. So we'll try it a few more times, just so you get an idea of how it works. I might not be able to get a jackpot on the video, but you may when you purchase it and play it at home. So I'm going to hit it a little bit harder. Try and get it to go over to the side a little bit further. That's not working, so we'll hit it a little softer. So anyway, that's the gameplay. You turn the handle and you'd get uh, the corresponding payout. All these castings are original. This is an original machine. The glass is new. Uh, we had to cut a piece of glass for it because it was in poor condition. The painting and the inlay paint is all nicely done as original was. Um, the only difference is around the jack figures uh, there would be black but we think it looks better without the black so we left it uh, without so you can paint the black in there if you like the cabinet is in excellent condition really no no real damage to it I'll go over to the back portion of it and you can see the craftsmanship in building this thing was really high-end um, one, one of these little balls right here was broken off, so we fabricated another one out of aluminum and had an aluminum welder welded on there, and we polished it to um, the high sheen it is. You can't, can't tell if you didn't know. And uh, I'm going to turn the machine around now. So I'm going to set the camera down for a second. And I'll turn the machine around so you can see the back and the inside. So the back door, like I said, is new, but is made out of old wood. And uh, just like the originals were made, same style, same fashion. Uh, the lock and key are new. There's a little bit of damage around the door right here from probably people trying to break into it with a screwdriver. There's a little chip right here, and this corner is a little bit rounded. But that's it. That's all the damage there is on the machine. You can see it says skill flip right there, 100R or 700R. So I'll open it up and uh, I'll show you the inside of the back door, which was made, like I said, just like the originals, professionally made here in our shop to match the original back door. There's the mechanism, excellent condition, very clean in and out. Uh, it's got the anti-tilt mechanism right there. You can see it a little shaking a little bit. Uh, it's got the AVT stamp in the casting because ABT did the mechanics for this machine I believe. Um, if you have any questions or comments please give us a call or message us and please check out our other auctions as we're selling similar items. Thank you very much and have a great day.